back in the early 90s, for those of you who've, who's been around since then or before then, in the Christian community, in the Christian culture, back in the early 90s, there were these four letters, WWJD, WWJD, what would Jesus do? Now, it uh, rings a bell, right, to bring back some memories, right, for those of you who have been back there, saved since 1990 or so. And for those who haven't been walking with God for that long, well, I'm telling you about it right now, WJD. What would Jesus do? We had, there were bracelets, there were t-shirts, there were bumper stickers, huh? There were a lot of ministries that uh, used that slogan for their ministry. What would Jesus do? So, you know, before making a major decision in, your, in one's walk with God, hmm, in this Christian life, huh? before saying something, before making a decision, we would say, what would Jesus do in this matter? Hmm? What, what would Jesus do in your marriage, raising up your children? Hmm? And how, how we are to be in the workplace, how we are to be as a witness, how we are to be in our neighborhoods, how we are to be in our ministry, in our congregations. Huh? What would Jesus do in this matter? We will ask that question, pose that question. Can I tell you guys something? That can be a little dangerous, guys. You're saying, what do you mean, preacher? How can, that, how can going to Jesus saying, what would Jesus do be dangerous? I'm going to tell you right now. Thanks for asking. What would Jesus do? That can be a little dangerous. Why? Because we will come to our own thoughts, hmm? our own views, our own opinions, even at times when making a decision or saying something. On the heels of, oh, what would Jesus do? Because we are carnal. We have this, we live in this carnal body, this fleshy body. So our thoughts are not his thoughts. Our ways are not his ways, right? The Bible says. So that second W in WWJD, remove the second W, guys. And here, replace it with the letter D. Replace it with the letter D. What did Jesus do? What did Jesus do? Huh? huh? It is done, guys. It is finished. You're saying, what do you mean it's finished? You remember on the cross when he nailed our sins upon his body. He took our sins, right? Because we could not be up there. Huh? His love, his mercy, love of kindness. He went in our place on that tree hmm? and bled for us. The forgiveness of our, our, our sins was done through, the, through Jesus Christ, God's Son. Hmm? That is why he came. You and I could not atone for our sins. There is none right, no, not one, as Paul says, only Jesus Christ. And when he was on that cross, right, he said, it is finished. It is done. Pow, if you will. P-A-U, pow. In Hawaii, we say pow for being done. It is finished, guys. Everything that, every decision you, 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 you must make in this life, right, you will find it where? In the Word of God. Jesus is the Word of God. In the beginning it was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. In the book of John, chapter 1. Everything, every decision that you need to make, everything that, you, um, what, you, what you need to say, if you will, huh, is found in the book, what? God's book, the Word of God. Everything. On your marriage, your ministry. Any decisions you have to make, major and small decisions, is found in the Word of God because it is finished. Jesus is the Word of God hmm? with the help of the Holy Spirit. That's why he ascended and a promise of the Father came, the Spirit of God, the Holy Spirit, and dwells in you and he helps you, he's your comforter. Remember, you need, you need, you need, you need, you need to be, be careful and thread it, light, thread it on the ground lightly. What would Jesus do? It's what did Jesus do? Huh? It is done. It is finished. Jesus, he sits right now, guys, at the right hand of the Father, interceding on your behalf, praying on your behalf. Huh? As you're making your decisions, huh? as what you're saying every day and you walk with God, according to what? The word of God. It is finished, guys. It is finished in the work of Jesus Christ, the death, the burial, and the resurrection. Base your life on that and that alone. Remember, our thoughts are not his thoughts. Our ways are not his ways. Because it is finished, it is sealed in the blood of Jesus Christ huh? and the raising up of his son by the power of God. It is done. God bless you and aloha.